We invite our children to come up right now for the children's story. And Uncle Donald has a message this morning. <laughs> Uncle Silas, who's that guy? Never heard of him. Oh, good morning. How are you guys? Look at all these young faces. This is wonderful. Wow. You guys enjoying this morning? Wide awake? Yeah, some people. I don't know. Want to sleep? I'm actually very excited to share this story today. It's actually not really a story. It's more of a kind of a lesson um, that we can share with you. And I just, I just been kind of really excited to do this. So I hope you guys are excited about it too. Um, so I wanted to share something with you. Hmm, does anybody know what this is? Puzzle. Wow, it's a puzzle, right? And what's on the front? A picture. Wow, have you ever put a puzzle together before? Yes. And what do you use to make that puzzle? Well, puzzle pieces, yes, but how do you make the picture? You have to see the front of the box, right? If you don't see the front of the box, how can you put a... So if I turn it, could you make the puzzle now if you saw that? No, you, you, need to, you need to see a picture, right? If you don't see the picture clearly, how can you put the puzzle together? Well, this is interesting. How many of you love Jesus? I see hands going up. How many love Jesus? Hmm. How many want to see the face of Jesus? Do you think you can actually see the face of Jesus? You think so? Hmm. I'm going to share something with you. It's in Revelation 1. It's, it gets very interesting. I'll just share a small portion. This is, in, uh, this is what John the Revelator, he writes this in verse 1. This is the revelation of Jesus Christ. That word revelation means that you can see through something. I'm going to ask the question, how can we see Jesus? I see blank faces. How can we see Jesus? It's by this, the Bible. If you read the Bible, you'll begin to see Jesus. It's what it does. It just said it reveals us Jesus Christ, the Bible. You know, when I was younger, I didn't really read my Bible much. Um, kind of sad about that. Kind of let it collect dust. I didn't think about it. And I'm sure you guys read your Bibles. Did your parents ever tell you about stories like Noah and the ark? Where'd you, where'd you find that story at? Where did it come from? Ah, well, the book Genesis, correct. Great answer, right. You got it. Smart, very smart. It came from the Bible, right? How about David and Goliath? And the Bible, right. You got it. It's important. So when I started this, when I was a little older, it's been a few years ago, some, I began to think, you know what, I need to maybe look into this Bible and start reading it. I think it's important. There was a group of young people years ago, they were called the Waldensians. And these people were uh, being persecuted and tried for what they believed in. And what they did is they actually had tests with their kids. They tested them how well they remembered Scripture. Do you guys memorize Scripture at all? You guys memorize? You memorize Scripture? Yes, you do? Oh, very good. Well, I didn't memorize scripture when I was young, but now I do. I'm thankful. But there was something that the, uh, I was inspired by as a young person. I started reading the Bible, a little older, I should say. I talked to my wife's stepdad. He said something to me. When you read the Bible, you're supposed to pray for something. What is that you should pray for when you read the Bible? Do you know? I think I heard something out here. What is it? Holy Spirit. Yes, you need the Holy Spirit, right, to understand the Bible. It's very important. So I want to read something here out of uh, John 16, if I can get there. Out of John 16 and verse 13, if I can read it. Where am I at here? Okay, verse 13. It says here, let me move that out of the way. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth, full and complete truth. For he will not speak of his own initiative, but he will speak whatever he hears, for the Father, the message regarding the Son, and he will disclose to you what is to come in the future. You guys kind of want to know what to kind of prepare for, right? But you want to prepare for Jesus? You guys want to prepare for Jesus coming? This Bible gives you that. This Bible gives you that. And there was another man by the name of Paul. He was an apostle, a great apostle. He was uh, going around evangelizing. He told his church something. He prayed they would receive something. They would receive a spirit of wisdom and revelation. They, they would receive an understanding of who Jesus is. You guys want to understand who Jesus is? How do you do that? By, by praying and reading the Bible. Very good. So I want to give you something. 
I got little things in here for each one of you. You probably have to come here and grab it or just grab it for yourself. There's something in here. I want you to receive a little letter. Grab one out. They're all different. It's a puzzle. Imagine that. Well, look at that. Very cool. These are just little things that remind you that you need to read your Bible and that you'll find Jesus in that Bible. There you go. Some of them are different. they got animals. Some have little mechanical things. There you go. Take one. Well, there you go. Do I have enough? Hopefully I don't run out. Let's see if i got five loaves, two fishes. Well, there you go. Awesome. Cool. And i got little, little encouraging little puzzles. So who would like to close us in prayer? Anybody got? we got all kinds of hands. Oh, my goodness. I don't know who to choose. Let's see. I'll choose you. You had your hand up. You want to pray for us? Everybody to feel better. Amen. Well, all right, you guys can pick a basket and you can go around and you're very welcome.